it comes to bridging some of our gaps in our 4-H management, there are several strategies to take it into account. We're going to talk with Tim Schnockenberg, Regional Agronomy Specialist with the University of Missouri. Tim, what are some of the things that you see in, in Missouri and Arkansas that we might want to look at? Well, really, one of our big dilemmas in harvesting cool season crops is that, you know, we just have a hard time getting it harvested on time. And so as a result, the majority of our cool season forages sometimes are harvested way too late. Well, one way to address that is to convert some of our hay ground to a warm season grass. If you can grow a warm season grass such as Bermuda grass or a native uh, warm season grass that's out there, we can be harvesting that forage for the rest of the summer if we need to, assuming we have adequate moisture to get that done. It can almost double the yields of our standard tall fescue crop. What about some of the warm season annuals? Do you see a place for them? Some of the warm season annuals uh, like millets and sorghum sedan grass, that sort of thing, there's a place, especially if you need some additional forage in a short amount of time. Uh, when you convert to warm season, you're getting away from the effects of the endophyte with tall fescue, which by the way can occur in hay as well. It can still be a year out 50% as toxic in hay as the day it was harvested. So, you know, we are getting away from that pro problem when we go to warm seasons. Great information, Tim. With the Making Hay Minute, I'm Brian Setzer. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Making Hay Minute. Please check out some of these other videos or find us at makinghay.com.